Hello friends, welcome to Automation with Ansible tutorial series and today's uh, tutorial series we will be discussing about the implementing Jinja to templates. So before starting with the tutorial, let me welcome you to my YouTube channel Trish Tech Institute and uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to it and also press the bell icon to get all the upcoming video notifications so that you can watch them so let's start with the jinja 2 template what is that uh, why to use it and how to use it so to start with jinja 2 template so let me give you a scenario where you can understand where you will be using this jinja 2 so jinja 2 is like a uh, template kind of uh, soft uh, language which you can use to have a customized uh, output or file configuration file whatever for your manager so like I will give you a scenario suppose you are uh, putting a MOTD file that message file for your Linux manage host where you want to specify uh, one message and in that message you need to include the host name and IP address of your manage host now for each manage host that host name and IP address will be different than other one so in that case what you can do you can write a jinja2 template and this jinja2 template in that you can specify uh, various variables which you can provide it during running the playbook either in playbook you mention that or for host you mention it and or else you can use ansible facts so populate to populate the data or details into the file so when you implement that file to your manage host uh, it replaces those variables with the actual uh, value it gets from those variables whatever value you are setting it up or ansible facts and then it replaces that and put it into that and it plays that file into your manage host so this helps you to have a customized configuration file or some file for your each manage host without maintaining multiple files so suppose you, you can create multiple files for each host and then you copy those files one by one to each host but that is very tedious work to manage so instead of that what you can do you create this jinja2 template and whatever places you want to have a customized data you put some variables use it and civil facts and all for those, those managed host and then you place it so now we will see how you can do that so let me go to my uh, template directory for ansible test what you do first you do ansible then hyphen m setup localhost you do that so what it will do it will give you the uh, ansible facts about your localhost so you, you will use few uh, facts so let me open a notepad and keep it side so we will copy those now suppose we want to use uh, um, host name so let me go that suppose uh, so suppose i want to use this system uh, vendor right or let me take like ansible memory somewhere it will be there so you can take any of this uh, variables and you can put it in your jinja uh, 2 template so let me take this ansible os family and uh, ansible node name so you will take these two now what i will do i will create a jinja 2 template so let me put message dot j2 so you have to put like this so you put this manage host now you put those variables so what i will use i will use ansible node name Sorry. ansible node name this manage host is managed by ansible and type of os is 
let me take this one ansible os family so let me paste it here so uh, you can put like this and then you put one enter line so it's a manage host this host so this is a small simple file now what i will do i will create a ansible playbook and i will use this message file so let me do uh, jinja2 dot yml so i will create this playbook paste jinja2 templates so host i'll put uh, let me do local host only so you can put your uh, or let me put the suze that's what i have in my inventory now you put tasks so here what you do you put template so to use jinja2 you have to use some module called template now in template you put source so what we will use we will use message dot j2 this is the file we created right then in the destination we will put we can put some other file so let me put template message then i can specify owner also so let me put owner as uh, 3d base and group of that file ownership will go to users and uh, mode file permission mode so let me put 6 Four four. So once you're done with this, you just come out of this. Let me verify. So message to J two. So now you can do your syntax uh, check. Do hyphen hyphen syntax check. Jinja to YML. So if it is fine, right? So now what you can do? You can do Ansible hyphen playbook. Now you do Jinja to dot yml so it will run the gathering facts and we are using two facts right that suze uh, sorry ansible os family and ansible node name so now you can see it implemented the template so we put the template name as temp message right so what you will do ansible suze hyphen i inventory now hyphen m shell hyphen a cat temp message so we will see what is the content of that file so you can see this is linux sf xo this is a file server name manage under the suze group and see you can see that file if you see message dot jinja2 content was like the host then we are using one variable ansible underscore node name this is a uh, fact ansible fact and also is managed by ansible and type of os is ansible os family so now here what you are seeing the host is this variable is replaced with the value for this particular server host name and then type of os is suze so like this using jinja2 template you can create a template or configuration template kind of file and then you implement that uh, file to your managed host where data will get populated as per the managed host and that will be placed in the destination uh, file whatever you specify during running your playbook so hope you like this session and you understand how what is jinja2 or what to use and how to use it hope it will be helpful for you to implement uh, some customized uh, configuration solutions using ansible uh, if you like the video please uh, also press the like button if you don't like also press the unlike button so that we can get a uh, honest feedback about our videos and also you can put in comment section what you liked or what you don't like so that we will get a clear picture about our uploaded videos so also if you can share this video with your friends colleague and family members so that they can also watch this videos and learn from them so bye have a good day we will see you in our next video